There it is. Dream Daddy. Just want people to listen to this song a bit. Alright, I'm just gonna continue our uh, story here with Mr. Coach. He's a. Um, David Lynch. Coach Be sure to is... watch my movie, Blue Velvet. <laughs> Coach is our um, neighborhood bachelor. What you do when you don't have to will determine where you'll be when you can't help it. Oh. Here you are. I don't know what that means. Neither. We have cereal for breakfast and it's been boring. Here's your character. Boring. There it is. There's gonna be a big old delay because he's in Australia and I'm not. So, you excited for the cookout today? I'm excited to beef up my grilling skills. If there's food, I'm excited. That's the coach. That's what coach would say. <laughs> I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Oh my god. He really is black. Someone said he's <laughs> he's so black, and he is. <laughs> yeah, those are bad. Which means not there are bad, more for me. But not as bad as my cow fetuses. <laughs> Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up killing all them people from the neighborhood. <laughs> Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We'll get we will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. There's more. The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. Squall starting, people. We definitely don't want to be late. That's some classic delay. Mm hmm. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? <laughs> Someone says 8.24 a.m. in Asia. It's the same area. It's it's 10.25. Oh, hmm. It must be in the, uh, the west? I don't know. What? No. That's what you said. <laughs> you know what? We're going early just because you said that. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. George Foreman grills. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's back backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run into walls. I set out, I uh, set our veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Huh? Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. You can be this guy today. I, I forget who this guy was. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. No, wait, I'm gonna do the Mr. Plinkett voice. It definitely looks like a Plinkett. I guess so. Oh, there's more. And you brought veggies. Sorry, Cammy's messaging me. Bloody Cammy. <sighs> Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. This is Chris, mm. my eldest. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this is Christian and Christy. They're twins. They stare creepily and say nothing because they're a bunch of Christians. Oh. You fox. <laughs> He's called his twins fox. <laughs> yes. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Chris. I adopted him. From a grocery store parking lot. <laughs> Wait, where's Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh no, it's the woman from the bar the other night. What's she doing here? Oh. Oh, and how could I get forget my lovely wife, Mary? Uh. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. 
They're a nice Aryan family, aren't they? <laughs> ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? I'll have to go look for him. <laughs> she lost a baby? Oh, where's my baby? What? You, you'll have to. Joseph takes what? a moment to regain his composure. <laughs> Coach. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Coach, and his daughter, David Lynch. I'd shake your hand, but you are a commoner. <laughs> I love her. Nice to her. Uh, pleased to meet you. My name's Coach. I'm sure what I'm doing. I'm gonna get to the evac center. Enchant. Well, I have to go over there now. Mary leaves. Oh god, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows what that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph... Yeah, whatever. It takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. Ha ha ha. My life... My wife has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you, you fox. <laughs> you know, you sound a lot oh, like no. my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Manda and I, around, I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. Once all the food is eaten, <laughs> Manda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling in the baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to make friends. Oh. It's going to kill them later anyway. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? I don't want to have a fucking party. Aww. Dad. Sorry. Dad. Jake Cap 120 says, what the Ooh. fuck does this have to do with David Lynch? It has <laughs> everything to do with David Lynch. By the way, have you seen my film Mulholland Drive? It's a hit. It's, what a hit. It's, it's a recent box office smash. Uh, 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 they're going to talk about the weather. Go. Do it. Make a friend. How could I possibly abandon my only child at this social function? That's bad parenting. Bad parenting is letting her watch Eraserhead. <laughs> and then, and then letting her become the director of it. <laughs> Yes. How did, where did I this go wrong? Of, <laughs> this plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Amanda shoves her new dad into her mouth. and <laughs> Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the oh, Coffee no. Spoon? There he is. You want to do this dude now, this time? That's him. I, I forget oh, all sure. the voices I made. Oh dang, rabbits here. Yeah, same. I forget all the voices I know. Uh, I think I was like, hey man. I was like, this guy for the barista. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee, frisbee at my head? Isn't that the vampire from Dracula's castle? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. This, this is quite a coincidence. All the characters that the, the artists have drawn have shown up at this party. Yeah. Wait a second, all these people Truly live in our cul de sac? Yeah. All males. That can't be right. I better investigate. Who should we talk males. to? Oh, <laughs> alright. There is no option in this list. Because the last one says burger time. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna click burger time. We can't, we can't not pick burger time. And with. Oh, this is you. And without further ado, let's work some magic. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets We're to work. We're gonna watch bad Star Wars prequels. We're gonna fucking gonna urinate into a storm drain. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? 
He's working faster now. Effort <laughs> what is what is this implying? Effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. He really works his hands well. One after another, the dads <laughs> take notice. The dads take notice and crowd around Joseph <laughs> to admire his masterful technique. <laughs> oh, you probably didn't know this, Ooh. Coach, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be Brian. He's ungrilled. Ungrill okay. How do you say that? He's ungrillable. 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 Look, at, look at their hands, they're getting mighty close to his crotch. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Bro! Yeah. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. <laughs> oh my god. This is you. Right. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. It's I'm Duke the Nukem. barista. He's Duke I'm Nukem. wearing a flower hat, dude. Mustard. Mustard, we keep talking about this. And we just appreciate the artist. Hey. What you look what is he looking at? Ooh. Hey, Maya's oh. up here, buddy. <laughs> Robert says, I'm that fucking drunk. Person. How did I get here? No, I think I did him with a Max Payne voice last time. Oh, yeah. Okay, do that. I've never seen him make a mistake. Hey. Hey. From across the room. Hey. It's Hugo. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, they're dad jokes. I get it now. How did I not see this? Please stop, or I'll make you watch my new film. Which one's my new <laughs> film? How could she possibly I, I, make someone watch a film? Sit down here. <laughs> I'm gonna press play now. <laughs> All of the children at the party they're boo. Gonna, they're gonna hold their eyes open like in a clockwork orange, a movie I have not seen. That's a good one. It's a clock of shit. <laughs> anyway, all the all the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. He said wink. Alright guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Oh fuck you. And then the groans. We all grab our food and hang out. Enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Mm. Man, it's so oh. wild how all of us dads live in the same cul de sac. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oop, I, I've forgotten already. I, uh, <laughs> did I do this or you did this? Yeah, you did this. Kind of nice, isn't it? Feels like there's a real community here. Totally helps when you're not when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Oh, we're happy to have you here, man. I think you're gonna like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all of the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing, if you know what I mean. I've heard about the murders from your last city. That book. Hey, why don't you get us all on Dad Book? Dad Book? Yeah. yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all in on it, so if you need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it, you fuck. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm just old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Like the body parts and the blood and the guts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest after of the BBQ. New, after you watch my new movie, Lost Highway. <laughs> That's not a new one. It goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer. Even the kids. As our kids play on the lawn. Oh, no. Should have read the rest of the sentence before I. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmencita, Carmencita, and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. They 
try to convert her to Christianity. Mander and I walked back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? Hmm. I mean, a burger got in me. <laughs> I wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. Playing? That was a TV show. Hey. Continuity error. Anyway, I'm going to choose the burger option. Playing the reruns of Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. Mm hmm. Sweetie, if I can impart any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and not that this is a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. Silver linings get you too to the other side. We ate Rockenbergs today. <laughs> And it was good. This dialogue was made for Coach. All right, you can't even pick a different character. Yes. Indeed. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will fucking hit them. I'll show them pictures of my cow fetuses. I haven't figured out how social media works. Da da da. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Dad tip 36, trust no one. Okay. Mand and I arrive home with a remnants of a veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Yeah, I'm just gonna rewatch Eraserhead for the... Oh. Maybe later I'll just go watch Lost Highway or any other David Lynch movie. I don't know. You get Lost on the okay? Highway. No. I got lost on the highway and ended up on Mulholland Drive. Oh, of course. Just keep me posted and be home before midnight. No oh, promises. Zombies out there. The smoke of bitches. Fucking spitting women. Be careful. One of them jockey bastards that jumps on you. Yeah, no promises. I'm just gonna go out. Goodbye. Make good choices, sweetie. Don't you know it? I'll make them watch a racer head. Call me if you need anything. Just check the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently what? for me no. to come home in the living. What? Oh. <laughs> no. No, then that now never will do that. Skip your part. Are you gonna interrupt me again? I mean, okay. Do you have plans tonight? I uh, the plans are kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna <laughs> work on some stuff. By that I mean body parts, eyeballs. <laughs> See how long I can sleep for. Throw a party. Let's do it. Real rager. All, right. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. I'll see if I can get you a spot on the list. But honestly, it's looking tight. You might just have to wait in time. In line. Wow, coach. This is very against character. I mean, I know the guy at the door. I'll get in no problem. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? What sort of drug-fueled mishaps can we get into tonight? Great. See you later. I watch a minute drive off into Make the Make sure night. to watch my new film, The Elephant Man. <laughs> Thanks. I will, I will, daughter. I will watch your new film, Elephant Man. I really do hope she has fun. <laughs> I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Dad, you better be watching one of my movies or I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know. Oh, shit. Know. Suddenly, Coach switches over to Eraserhead on Fox. That's better. We're going to keep mentioning Eraserhead the whole stream. Looks like Jack Nance is making a roast rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes on Eraserhead. It's completely silent and goes for an hour. I'd love to be able to cook like that, although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. And I'd be cooking all sorts of bitches. Like, just making... Baked well, Alaskans way, uh, all day instead of any food. Real net. <laughs> by the way, hold up. <clears throat> yeah. 
Ying Chang Tan says error. Elephant Man movie film doesn't exist. Uh, no. You're wrong. Maybe he thinks You're it's a wrong. real elephant. I made it. There's no such I'm thing David as Lynch. an elephant man. I made man. that movie. There's no such thing as an elephant man. Oh, you gotta... I just made it into a movie. One of these characters has to be Hitman from now on. Alright? You have oh, to do yeah. the Hitman voice. Definitely. Yes, man, so very, very Gavin very much Chapman. delayed Hitman voice. Yeah, <laughs> just suddenly, hello, I've changed my voice now. Just caught the thing <laughs> in fire, blah, blah, blah. What a professional. I lost track of time as my mind wanders. The LSD has taken over my entire soul. What is he saying? Um, meet Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. There's a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Oh. I jack Nance at my watch. <laughs> Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? <laughs> you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab some ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it. After a long day of socializing, I check my watch again, and then my phone, and then nothing yet. And uh, riveting. Okay, see now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? Do I have to get my gun? No, no, too soon for that. I just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meet Hell are not only a, a swoop. Okay, I've never come across this word before. Assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? <laughs> the screen shook. Oh, He's getting pissed. Who is Emma P? It's like <laughs> He's losing well, his fucking see, mind. See, it's like the. It's like the part in Blue in Blue Velvet where uh, oh, okay. Dennis Hopper kidnaps Cal McLachlan and takes him on a oh, joyride. Yeah, yeah, that, that part. Yeah. That if, that um, if the kettle in his kitchen looks very like mine. Memorable part. Yes, I designed it. <laughs> very. <laughs> anyway, my daughter's dying. <laughs> Talking about fucking Blue Velvet. <laughs> Amanda, please text me. Let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her! Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Oh, that was anti-climax. I thought she was, like, attacked and needed to go save her or some shit. Oh, yeah. It was Finally. very anticlimactic. Finally, she's back oh, home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup? It's not me, it's my doppelganger. Don't Sweetie. trust this person. Sweetie. Relax. Thank God you. <laughs> you're safe. Uh, yeah... But now that I know she's yeah. okay, I'm really mad! Why did you ask my fucking text? <laughs> Amanda pulls out her phone out of her pocket. Oh, yeah, it's gonna take a while though. Oh, whoops, guess I didn't see those! She starts to walk to her room. Amanda M! Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. Really? I didn't see an hour and a half go by. <clears throat> Seemed like it. You really freaked me out. And I was about to call the cops! Pfft, as if Coach would call the cops. He doesn't want that sort of heat sniffing around his house. Oh, sniffing into Dad, the... Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Once again, there is no choice. Mister, I don't think I like your attitude. You can't talk to me like that. Are you serious? Stop treating me like I'm a child. I'm Just stop David acting Lynch. like I'm one. an accomplished filmmaker. <laughs> I told you to take in with me and you didn't. How am I supposed to trust you to make good choices when you move out if I can't even check? You can't even check in with me. Sorry, I've had a bit to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired after all of a sudden. This could have passed midnight, dude. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Shit, you really scared me. Just to. Uh, oh, my brain. Just don't do that again. Uh, uh. All right. I'm gonna go to bed now. And then it go closes the door. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. I wonder if pe. I wonder if people are gonna get tired of me mentioning a razor head every five minutes. We'll see. A man that closes the door to a room, and I, I didn't read that. I just clicked. <laughs> Jeez, as I'm falling asleep, one thing she keeps echo one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go after school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee. I make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. Aww. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey, yeah, hi. Mm. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it, and I didn't. I honestly didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well, I'm sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make... Good choices. Good. What should I say? <laughs> I'm gonna go with good. Hey! hey. Good. Want some eggs? Alright. You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already did. <laughs> Golly, you're the best. I mean, bless you. Gesundheit. <laughs> Gesundheit? Oh. That does mean bless you. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. I suppose it does. Oh. Yeah, people don't speak French in here. Or is it Japanese? I forget. Man is scarce down the eggs <laughs> in time and takes me to... it In the time it takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, what the fuck did you say? One more thing before you go. <laughs> What's... <laughs> did you say the thing? What's dad book? Ugh. Oh no, sorry boy. If I was supposed to say something, I didn't know. It's like, what? What's that or something? Uh, oh my god. It's a social media platform. Wait. What? What's a social media platform? Is that like Left 4 Dead 2? <laughs> Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I have I'm to show my cow fetuses to everyone in the class. Look, the fucking fetuses can wait. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. I need to stay home. Don't go to school no more. Stay here with me. All right, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile in Deadbook, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and fuck each other. <laughs> All right, Pops, you, we gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and... On a Friday night, you are most likely to... Murder watch the a children. Racer head, watch a racer head or watch a racer head. It's not. It's not on here. Well, I guess is it on Netflix? Because, because oh. that's an option. History Channel. Uh, no, I think it's a History Channel. Let's just pretend it's on Netflix. I know it isn't. Netflix and Grill. Is is gr like chill, like a, a naughty word? They have to censor it. <laughs> If you had it's one thing to <laughs> for, it, It's too naughty for a game about where you fuck other dads. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't be saying that chill word. Don't be saying the C word, buddy. <laughs> if you had one thing to take with you to a des desert desert island. Desert island, what would it be? Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. Also because um, that that um that Tom Hanks. <laughs> yep. 
a boat, obviously, because I'm not stupid. Why don't these guys just take a boat? Duh. What are your turn ons? Oh. Strong dad arms, tennis shoes with long white socks, a well manicured lawn, street smarts, top tier grillmanship, comfortable with crying. Well, obviously, street smarts. Since this character is coach, and he is in the zombie apocalypse, I think he'd go with the strong dad arms because you gotta be swinging a pan around a lot. So, and axes and stuff. Oh, yeah. You gotta take the full brunt Good of point. the. The recoil from a spaz 12 gauge shotgun. What did you want to be when you grew up? <laughs> Technical writer for manuals and instructionals, that's, that's fucking boring. Salty boat captain. Pro skater who is also an astronaut. Oh, Get so much airtime. Oh, this is like Tony X Underground 2 where they have a level in space. Yeah. It's like Tony Hawk in space. Well, I guess I'm gonna go with that one, aren't I? What is your favorite movie genre? Eraserhead. <laughs> Romantic comedy, of course. Sean That's what... Connery's entire filmography. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Sean Connery's entire filmography. Well. Okay. How can you not pick that? Well, yeah, Zardoz is my favorite one. What's your ideal date? <laughs> my f my Eraser ideal hand. date is snapping together. Snapping. Snapping together. Doing oh, uh, 1,000 piece puzzle, puzzle together. together. Eating he healthy dinner at 4 p.m. Trying to gear cachet but getting hopelessly lost. Arson. Arson. Of arson. course it's going to be arson. I love the arson, you know what I mean. I'm deep into that arson. Eraserhead. What would you do? <laughs> Never leave home without my copy of Eraserhead. And my cow fetuses. Oh wait, this is coach. So of course it's cool knife. <laughs> well, it's gonna be knife. You gotta use it on yeah. people. Knife. Spend a lot of time thinking about how proud I am of my child. Hmm. Where I can get my next cup of coffee. That's what I think of. Well, obviously, Coach is always thinking about the potential ends of the world. It's just a coincidence there's oh, zombies, okay. though, because he was hoping to cause the end of the world. Huh. Well, file complete. Yeah, obviously. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. And then finding out their address, <laughs> what time they get off work, how dark it is around their street. Any dark alleys? <laughs> you should message there. one of them, or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. The man, he gives me a hug. Man, well, he didn't get a cake. Go get him, dad. <laughs> My tongue out at you. Welcome. You've got dads. <laughs> You've got dads. Who should we look at first? <laughs> Damien. Fucking weirdo one. Damien. How do you do? This, this is... Actually, no, we did Hitman. This is Hitman. I forgot. Alright. You can read out How his profile. I have finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I will do. I'll try my best to understand. <laughs> sure, I'm on a long in stroll there. through graveyards and spending time with my son, Hitman Junior. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion and murder, the inevitability of our undermines or black cats, please send me a letter. His his son is Hitman Junior. <laughs> it really should be. It should be Hitman Forty Eight. <laughs> no, there's 48s in, in the canon already. Oh, so. No, 48s were, the 48s were from the first game, weren't they? Yeah, a bunch of mindless goons that you murder, all smiling creepily. Yeah. 
if on you a had Friday night, night I'm most likely to listen to true crime podcasts where I taxidermy my newest specimens. <laughs> if you had, one, if I had one thing to take with me onto a desert island, I'd take a coffin to put someone in. My turn-ons are someone pronouncing bosom correctly. What I, when I wanted to go, when I grew up, I wanted to be a bat. My favorite movie genre is foreign art house horror. Oh my god, it's a racer head. That's not a horror movie. Racer. That's a romantic comedy. It's a big old action movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a feel good comedy in the streets of San Francisco. <laughs> you racer head. Mm-hmm. My ideal date is eraser head. It's PG thirteen. It's night. We are in a, at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums up to the beat of our hearts. I there never must leave be a home without my now. upside down. I never leave home without my upside down cross. It's men too. I think. I'm gonna message this guy. What should I say? What should you say? Damien seems really interesting. A little odd, but interesting. I think I should hang out with him to get to know him a little better. I navigate to Damien's dad book page and type out a message. Ah, uh, can't I say? Hey dude, you seem cool, blah blah blah. We should hang out sometime. <laughs> He's making a fucking narrative here. A novel, that's what I meant to say. Thank you, coach. I'll leave to go get some coffee. <laughs> Still typing. I sit my coffee in the computer. <laughs> Finally, dings! Whoa. Oh Thank my god. You. Coach, I must confess my excitement to be receiving your coffee. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit, I clicked. <laughs> I do find. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I thought I could scroll on his computer thing. I would be highly flattered to enjoy your companionship at my residence for an afternoon tea and stroll around my garden, should it please you. Adieu. Yours, humbled, Hitman, Agent 47. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. I stare at the screen and reread yeah. the letter several more times. Hey, Amanda! Oh, shit, she's not here. Wait, she is? Okay. Amanda pops in out of her room. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd oh, been yeah. crying. Hey! I don't give a shit oh, about wow. you. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm cool. Have you seen... I, I can't find my 19th copy of Eraserhead. I mean, I just found out that the succulent I've been watering and singing to the, for the last three months was actually made of plastic. Oh. Even the dirt was fake. Oh, anyway, honey. I'm trying to, like, hook up with this guy named Hitman. <laughs> I'd like to make a video about this hookup. Where's Dinner, episode 69. Actually, I think there is one. Oh. I know, there's one episode 47, Hitting It Hard. Yeah. It's the, it's the prequel to Hitman. Yeah, 40, 46, Coach Meets the Hitman. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that, because I, I think there's more to the story. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm ready to murder any children. If they've been teasing you at school... <laughs> Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go murder the shit out of some goddamn zombies. <laughs> Fucking zombies. That's my class. No, these are zombies. <laughs> All these kids Thanks, are zombies. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate that. In the town. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced. I'll just go watch the racer head again. <laughs> <laughs> Always cheers me up that existential dread of having a child when you're young and an impressionable youth who wants to go out and start a big long career, but now suddenly have to be a father. I'm totally cool with that. 
But I'll stop badgering her about it, because I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Can you help me with something? <laughs> Dad, for the last time, I'm not popping your back pimples. Oh, oh no! God. Can you, uh, intercept, interpret this for me? <laughs> I can't read too good from the south. This Savannah. <laughs> and turn the computer to man that she squints at Damien's message. I just... I don't understand this speak. Like, all them people's talking on the computer. Like, is this how kids communicate with each other now? Oh, totally. This is a hot new thing. See, kid, see, Dad, kids got over saying lol and LMAO or whatever and decided what they needed was to bring it back to the 1800s. Um, it's pronounced LMAO. So what do I do? What the okay. shit do I do? Where's your pen and quill? What? Oh, you making fun of me, bitch. I used to communicate with rap battles before this. <laughs> Did you forget to unpack the pen and quill? Dad, how will we address the nobleman in regards to your upcoming debunte ball? Okay, now you're using the big words. I see you're messing with me. Father, without a proper chaperone, you'll never end up with a suitor worthy of our land. Or our dowry. Or... So you read... Head. So you read Bride and Prejudice for school one time, and now you're reciting things like you know about how it was back then. How it was back then. In 1778. Two years after the independence, I think. I don't know. So, I mean, yeah, that was, yeah. Like the first five pages, and then I read a review of the book online. Still great. gotta be, though. Well, great. So you're, you're underachiever. Great. So what do I say to Damien? That's a good question. I got this. Amanda reaches her. Hey, Damien. <laughs> have you seen my new film, Eraserhead? Why? Also, Blue Why, yes. Velvet and all the other ones I made. Yes, I love that. They should really suit your tastes. I like to watch it Please before get I go back on my killing sprees. Yes, thank you. And then Amanda dates Hitman at <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, go. She's got away with words. Amanda hits send and smiles at me. Well, I suppose that's that. I make the short walk over to Damien's house. Well, I guess you can't really call it a house. It's more of a manor, a state, oh where gothic architecture looms over the other homes in the cul-de-sac. I walk past a couple... Oh my god, this really is Hitman. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hitman. They're hitting. Anyway, Gargoyle's got in the front door, look around the doorbell, and doesn't seem to be one. I pull the large ornately oh, carved bat's head. Doesn't, doesn't Hitman go into a haunted house and one of the chapters of Hitman? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Further down the line. Like chapter 10 or something. Yeah, very far. Yeah, it becomes Silent you Hill <laughs> in Hitman the Hitting. You guys are going to have to wait. There's a zombie doctor or something? I don't remember. And then there's a Resident Evil episode as well. Oh my god, yeah, I, I think I remember that. And he's he's got a puncher from I Resident forget? Evil. <laughs> He'll just use his puncher on them. Yeah, c come on, how can you blame him? He didn't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for Plan B! Anyway. It's time for Plan 2. Oh, plan two. <laughs> plan two. Phase two. I wait several moments before the door slowly creaks open. It's a little creepy, but I enter the home and take a few steps into the foyer, noting the oil portraits of whom I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. Oh, 
as I'm admiring them, I fart loudly and my whole screen shakes. Front door slams behind me. Hello? Hello? We at the big house. Well, he is at the big house, isn't he? Silence. An oil lamp in the corner flickers dimly, casting ominous shadows against the wall. Why do I feel like all these people in these paintings are staring straight at me? Why is it so cold in here? Where's dinner? Coach. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Couch, pleasure to, ha pleasure to have you in my home. My name is Hitman. I'm sure you know. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. How about you make some movies about me? <laughs> okay. I look up at Dave and stand on top of a majestic staircase with a walking candle holder. What's uh what's the fucking deal with you, man? Why why all this, <laughs> this door slamming shit and this fucking Dracula garbage shit? What the fuck? What's with the picture of the dog on the wall? Oh sorry, there was a draft. And the door creaking open when I knocked. What what's all this shit, man? Is this a movie set? Am I on camera? Where am I? Yes. Hold on, it's buffery, but I accidentally left the door unlocked. And the creepy oil paintings? And the dog? Is that your wife? I like oil paintings. Right. Where do you get all this money? What sort of job do you have? Well, I... I... Right. I... <laughs> I, um... I take care of troubles in different countries. I travel the world. I guess you could call me a problem eliminator. Please, let me show you around. I'm Hitman. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm a Hitman. <laughs> okay. Damien leads me around the house, showcasing his parlor. Sitting in the auxiliary room and the parlor again for some reason. Oh. Yes, that's where I'm going to kill you. This is one of the older homes on the block, yes, but no any other architecture might suggest. Through extensive renovations, I have been able to craft a residence that is both historically accurate to the Victorian period and equipped with the amenities of any modern dwelling. We walk past the door covered in bumper stickers, caution tape, and all sorts of shit, and a black parade poster. Did they listen to My Chemical Romance in the Victorian era? I see, that's his son and daughter. Oh. What's up? That's my son's room. You know how the rebellious teenage years are? Onward, on. There's more to see. You reach her door at the this end of the This is my hall. secret computer. <laughs> it's in the laundry on top of the washing machine. <laughs> oh. oh. So is this the prequel to Hitman the Hitting, or the sequel? This is where he gets really stressed out and kills his son, loses his hair, and becomes a Hitman. Yes, it's prequel. <laughs> okay. It's you like my butterflies. And this is the library. Sunlight streams from the, from the floor to ceiling. This is Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? I'm the beauty. Beauty named Coach. <laughs> the walls are lined with packed bookshelves and even more books that are scattered across the period appropriate furniture Damien is clearly really proud of this room. <laughs> well, since this room is so nice, I'm gonna look out the window. Yes. He likes that. Hmm, I can see Craig on his lawn. He's doing push ups. Is his daughter on his back? What a show off. Damn. He sees me and waves happily, doing push-ups with one hand now. Damn! Lame. He went, ugh. Did you know that Victorians spent at least 20 hours a week gazing at f gazing longingly out of full-length windows? Wait, really? That, that sounds kind of crazy. No, but Victorians did appreciate telling a good joke. You said good joke. 
That's enough of this tool. Hang on. I'm gonna look at these butterflies. He might like that. Yes, he does like that actually. I woke up to the glass display of his disgusting display of dead insects hung up on the wall, Pins pierced through their body with harsh needles, and it's pretty impressive. Nice bugs. I pin them all myself. Maybe I could show you how sometime. I'm concerned. I would stick the pin right through my finger and then maybe through your neck. That's my job. Ah, uh, the pin is gambit. Is, is that I'm a pig? man, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pick up a book. Oh, he likes that too. You know, coach in the Victorian era. Oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> So, there's a lot of delay. You know, Catch, in the Victorian era, there was some controversy surrounding reading. Many thought that more laundry novels would encourage youth into a life of crime and would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. Coach quickly starts I reading faster. Life of crime. <laughs> Can't we do that? I pull out a book at random and examine the worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page with a naked lady on. Ah. Naruto struggles against the chains a Sasuke had bound him with shirtless. Out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja pants. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh yes, did you know that Naruto originally came from Victorian times? See? Damien snaps. <laughs> Victorian Japan. Hitman with his fucking porno fan fiction books. He's he's printed it out <laughs> and put it into a book and uh, put it up on the shelf. A worn cover too. Damien snaps oh the book shut and puts it back onto the shelf. That's a rare book from my private collection. <laughs> Please, will you join me for tea? I follow Damien to his sitting room where finger food has already been. Oh, out. I'll keep it. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I can't believe we're having high tea. I never thought I'd get to do mm. this. Damien smiles to himself. What? Oh. It's a common misconception that high tea refers to the wealth or class of the people enjoying it, when in fact the high refers to both a later time of the day that the working class had to enjoy tea in the height of the tables on which they're served. I thought it depended on how much drugs you put in it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> My dear friend, we're currently enjoying afternoon tea. That's, uh, that's informative. Damien takes a seat next to me and serves me a tiny sandwich. I get really angry because tiny food is just not what coach eats. <laughs> Are there a lot of goths in Maple Bay? Huh. Are there? Plenty, actually. We mostly communicate online on goth forums. You wouldn't believe the Victorian era drama that these people get into. Drama? Huh. Hitman forums. <laughs> When's the next game so and coming? So and so wore this. So and so wear this undercoat under this period inappropriate petticoat. Someone did. Uh, someone else didn't understand the difference between a bodice and an under bodice. Oh. Under bodice. I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. People will get angry if you wear a mismatched color or black pouch. I'm not kidding. This is an actual thing that people get angry about. And don't even get me started on substyles. Damien catches himself. Why don't these people just it? appreciate a good disguise? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's mostly frill based discourse. Frills like the, the cravat that I'm wearing on my tie. No, okay, it is him. He's just disguised as someone <laughs> named uh, Blood Much. <laughs> Damien. Yeah, he, this is just Hitman in disguise. What got you so interested in God stuff? Oh. 
Oh! That was... This is mostly just a disguise, for the time being, but... I suppose I'll tell you after and deliver. Well, when I was a young boy, my father... You know you're not meant to tell me it's a disguise. Huh. It's not a disguise. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Did sorry? you guys get... I get it, he's singing a fucking... Of my Chemical Romance song. Oh, uh, did you guys see a marching band? Ah. Took me into the city. See the Black Parade. I don't know any. I'm afraid I don't understand. No, it's, it's um, you're serious. I'm a goth person. Of course, but of course I'm serious. I'm you know, the song Amanda gave made me listen to it. How old is his daughter? I mean, like, she's a teenager now. This song is from, like, more than 10 years ago. Seriously? Really? It's like people who are 30 <laughs> who listen to it when they were teenagers. I'd love to see a marching band. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I've always had a love for art, history, and fashion. Especially disguises. What started off as a small hobby of collecting taxidermied animals grew into sort of an, an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives and culture of those who came before us, I think. Why not go all the way? And get in the time machine. Go back to them times. <laughs> I like not dying when I catch a cold. It takes a sip of tea. I can acknowledge that there were many very terrible things about the Victorian era, and to try and live a life that strictly aligns with those ideals would be admittedly horrid. But I think... I'll tell you what I think after the delay. I think it takes a crucial mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest, to be cognizant of its flaws and love it all the same. Like a racer head. <laughs> Here we go again. You've been talking to my daughter, haven't you? Uh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I meant uh, Hitman 1, the first one. Uh, tell me, Coach, do you have any hobbies? Oh, man, I do. I don't know if I care about anything the way you care about this stuff. Oh. At your interests. Hearing, something, hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing and quite honestly rather attractive. Huh. Ooh. Here we go. Here Please we do tell me about your hobbies. Big sound sophisticated. I'll tell, about my, I'll tell you about my hobbies. I enjoy hitting people. <laughs> Ow, stop hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to juggle once. I like watching soap making videos on the internet. Coach is boring. Oh, Just yeah. tell me you like murder and arson and swinging paddle bets. Oh, what do you know? Me too. Maybe we should start a fan club. I, I sure like to, you know, when you're in a game of Left 4 Dead and like, you're like, save me, Coach, but he's like, no, I ain't want to do that. And he runs off and looks at the wall. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to do with my time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to skip this text because I just went off on a tangent there. It's poetic, really. It's, see, it's, it rhymes. It's like poetry. It's it like rhymes. poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> yes, quite. Ah, oh, so you're a writer. In a sense. We finish our tea and finger the sandwiches. Gross. Oh. Oh, oh. oh why'd you do that? <laughs> Come, I have <laughs> come. I have one more thing to show you. My silver baller guns. <laughs> people with his hard ballers. They had to change the name because it was the name of a real gun. It happened like back in uh, Hitman One, Two. No, I remember the demo of Hitman Two had the real names, like Desert Eagle. Now it's called Deagle. So lame. Yeah. Damn. Lame. Anyway, that's that's back in like two thousand and one, two. <laughs> Damien it takes me around the back of From what I understand, the Blood Money is the only Hitman game that counts, so... Of course, that's the one I use. My films about hitting. 
Damien takes. <laughs> it's the one where he's really stocky. He gets like kind of fat and <laughs> blood money. He gets he older. Is, he? He's a silly suit. He's an old hit. Damien takes me around the back of his home, and then he does me in the back, where a variety of flowers flourish in beautifully landscaped rows. A small stone path weaves through it, and butterflies flit lazily through the air. Quite nice. This does not look like a city. Where the fuck are we? Do we? My teleport? God. It's. These are my hedge clippers. Please ignore the blood stains <laughs> on the hedge clippers, but. Oh, this behind your back? No, this is not a. This. Oh, yes, it is hedge clippers. Sorry. Thank you. I ad I, ad I appreciate the compliment to my garden and my hedge clippers. Victorians took flowers and for floral arrangements very seriously. Oh. You see, I'll tell you after the delay, it was considered uncouth to discuss personal and romantic relationships in public, so lovers and friends alike would use bouquets to send secret messages to each other. Each flower and plant gave different feelings. Each totem on the pole is, some, is a symbolic representation of one family. <laughs> Even more interesting is that one flower could, I'll tell you after the delay, mean different things depending on the other plants it was paired with. One had to be extremely careful, as even the style in which the ribbon was tied around the bouquet affected the message. Damien leans down and plucks a gorgeous bright flower off a vine. Lilium bulbifrium. Bulbifrium. The orange lily. What do you think this one means? I'll tell you what it means. It means I'm going to hit you when you're asleep. <laughs> this flower means I'm going to synergy. murder you in your bed. <laughs> Thou art the tightest. I'm going to murder you to death. Three <laughs> cheers for sweet revenge. Oh, that's another fucking title of a song. So, yes, that must be the correct one. Oh, I like that. The <laughs> orange lily is actually symbolic of pure hatred. He farted a bunch of love hearts. Well. And that's precisely why floral arrangement is so... I'll tell you after the delay. Challenging. Usually I just kill people. What's your favorite type of flower, coach? Hmm. Snapdragons, honeysuckle, sunflowers. Man, it's bringing back some memories. This, is, this one has suck in the, in the words. I'm going to pick this one. They smell really good. <laughs> and then you can eat them. Uh, you know what suck the heads means? <laughs> you know what suck the head means? When you pull the stem Something out. Something about eating. You don't know, mean nothing bad at all. I'll have to remember... I'll tell you after the buffering. I'll have to remember that when I put together a bouquet for you. He... He would put together a bouquet for me? Nobody's ever given me a bouquet before. I follow Damien down the footpath with a knife behind my back and I admire the more of his beautiful flowers. Suddenly my phone rings. Damn. Oh, his phone. Someone's phone rings. It's <laughs> silly. Oh, uh, Couch, really? Excuse me, I must take this. Diana's calling me again. <laughs> she probably. She's probably gonna make me go to Paz again. Paz. <laughs> he pulls out a cell phone out of his pocket, a little surprised that it's not a rotary phone. Go for it. Diana, I hate Paris. Every time I go there, they shoot me. It's probably, they probably weren't this time, 47. Damien smiles and, 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 oh, typo, 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 oh. typo. Damien smiles yeah. and, 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 and walks back to the house. I <laughs> take a deep breath, enjoy the heavily perfumed air. What a lovely yard. This makes me wish I had a little more effort in. I put a little more effort into the garden. Amanda and I had started one time. Watermelons grew to the size of cherry tomatoes and then immediately died. Oh, hey, a gargoyle. Oh, no, I knocked over the fucking gargoyle! Uh oh. Fix the garg. Oh, shit, I don't know. Yep, that's it. That's where the head goes. <laughs>
Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there. Yeah. Easy. Oh. S plus, of course. It was easy. Phew, that was a close one. Oh, here comes Damien. He looks upset. Ah. Ah. Comes back in a huff. Coach, my sincerest apologies to have kept you waiting. There's an urgent matter that I must attend to, so I'm afraid I must take my leave. No problem, dude. <laughs> no, he's going to England City. That's in England. All right, England City. It's foreshadowing. Yeah. You get this? You hear this, kids? Yeah, he's in New Chapter 7, is it up to? I don't even remember. No problem, dude. Everything go all right. Damien worries the, the hem of his coat with his finger and looks away. Everything is perfectly fine, but I, uh, I have to go to England City, in the state of England, in the capital of London. <laughs> I mean, oh, Lucifer yeah. and Lucian. What's wrong? Hitman Junior. I think that's that's his son's name. Hitman Junior. He appears to have his teacher needs me to come to the school post haste. Do you need help? I need to smack some sense into that boy. Oh no, you don't have to. Let me come with you. Us dads better to. stick together. You don't have to wait for the delay, really. <laughs> he's he's smashed this dude's gargoyle and he's just like, oh shit, we're not dealing. Yeah. Da, da, da. Right. This is one of Lucian's more elaborate stunts. I would greatly treasure having another parent by my side. Let's go. Hitman. Hmm. Everyone ready for this I shit? I mentioned that I'm Hitman already. A few times. I think I mentioned I was going to kill you too. Damien and I walk into the school and are immediately greeted by an Maybe we can compromise? Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, you go. Uh. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who is this? Oh, it was me. Uh, hey, Damien. Uh, yeah, Hugo's you. Hey, Damien, you are here in record time. <laughs> <laughs> you should do a Sean Connery voice for him. No one. Okay. Okay, Sean Connery. Okay, I'm going to do my Sean Connery. Sean Connery. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Uh, well, wow. whatever this is, doesn't seem like Hugo and Damien's first time. My kids are in trouble. Rodeo. <laughs> Rudy, we're gonna ride the bull. <laughs> <laughs> when is it this time? Wish, Damien, you have to see to believe. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sean Connery. I'll follow you. I can't, I can't do Scottish, you know. It's fuck. What am, what am I doing anyway? Like it. It's not uh, quite here. Sean Connery is really not that hard. Even I can do it, maybe. Just gotta have really thick eyebrows. Make sure they're black. <coughs> Damien and I fall into a step behind Hugo, who leads us through the busy corridors of the school. We pass by several classes in session, and I vaguely wonder if a man's around. Hugo eventually ushers us into a small boiler room, with a flight of rickety stairs leading down into darkness. Watch your step! I can hear faint voices drifting up from the basement, and they don't sound happy. As I'm led into the depths of the school, I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay out of the creepy basements. Oh, this is the fucking dude. This this little sea bag. We find another teacher oh. in a boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lucian and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucian has a bloody nose. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got a bloody, bloody nose. Bloody hand. Bloody bastard. Who are you gonna make this time? Um. Thanks for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. <laughs> Foreign exchange teacher. <laughs> I look around the scene of the crime with a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. Oh my god. I'm getting some Edgar Allan Poe vibes here. What happened here? Ernest punched me, man. Fucking punched me, man. He 
you can be earnest. <laughs> we'll swap sides for the kids. Okay. Lucian tried to kill me, dude. What? Oh, no, I should. Lucian tried to kill me. Yeah, you Sean can. Connery, Sean. You try to do Sean Connery, I'll try to be Hitman Junior. Yes. All silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. You promised. Wait, hang on. Who's Ernest? I just forgot. I I'm color coded. You promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me. Oh, yeah. Cask of Amontillado. I, I understand this reference. Do not. Is he going to brick him in? Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Wait a second, Lucian. Did you try to cast of on Amontillado? Ernest? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's hard to read with that voice. I'm I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I turned to Damien and whispered to him. What's uh what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what's what's cask of <laughs> what's cask of um Amontillado? Amontillado <laughs> It's a Who classic looks? Edgar Allan Poe short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, lures him into the cellar with the promise of wine of a fine vintage, then burn Buries him alive behind a brick wall. Oh. See, I understood this. I understood this reference before you did. You you heard before it and you clapped. I I I understood. It's a lovely story. I clapped when I first read it. So wait, sixth Lucian, grade. sixth grade. <laughs> okay, children. Today we're gonna read a story about some drunk who gets buried alive. You try to do Yay. that to him. I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually going to leave him there. What was the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you slowly build a tomb around him? Well, it worked out like 20 minutes because he's an idiot. But then he realized that I had lied about the wine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was really looking forward to that. And you were cacking maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. Ernest, 20 minutes. Sweet Dad. Shit. It took you 20 minutes. Son, I had just done an entire two week unit on this cask of Tendim and Pamela. And it took you 20 minutes to realize Lucian was leading you into an elaborate ruse. Did you even read the story? Oh no, if you want to do Sean Connery, you, you gotta do this with your ashes. I'm doing more of a, I'm doing more of an Irish... Smee oh, yeah. sme Irish blood that comes from all the alcohol I drink. I used to escape <laughs> in me blood stream. I read, around me I read the first five pages and read a review of Whoa. the movie. Whoa! It's only... It's only five pages long and there's no movie! <laughs> ah. I'm about to fucking blow you up with sticky bombs! You bastard. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I paid Lucian to read it for me. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, it was me teaching him a lesson. Damon and Hugo both have their heads in their hands. You guys are always telling me to engage in the literature. And I did. I don't see a problem here. Who's this teacher? Alright, I'm filing this under what the hell, don't do whatever that was again, and you both you two are both suspended for a week. And a solution, high five. Teacher starts to stomp up the stairs. Actually you are you are a Russian. Oh yeah. Hugo, I'll cover your clap. Take your son oh, home, God. Mr. Blood March, you do. Look at no, I, look at the chat. I don't know. Oh, oh, I see. It happened. Thank you. Oh no. That's too many characters. Thank Who's you who? for your. Thank you for your meditation. It, it says mediation. Mediation. Sorry, I misread it. I... it My speciality is hitting and reading. The only thing I like to do is look down the barrel of a gun. That, hello, I am Hitman Payne. 
the bank robbers were stealing <laughs> from the vault at fucking up Roscoe Street. <laughs> we all had the stairs. Alright, is there anything else you want to do? I'm getting bored of this game. Yeah, same here. Um. Yeah, what do we do? Oh, look, it's about to start the GTA, se GTA section. I'm about to steal this car. Oh. Probably not. Should we? Dream Daddy. I'm not going to therapy again. Ah. I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. But I do. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <are you> <laughs> I, <never> <laughs> I don't know what that does. I just want to try it out. Uh, All right. All right. So you get no context for whatever's going on. Look, cool. I'm driving the car. I shouldn't even be listening to this story. Oh. I mean, should thanks be... for not freaking out too hard. I love you too, son. I don't even know what. I love you too. I don't even know what happened since you skipped it. Coach likes to speed when he's driving. <laughs> I guess so. I guess we are done, though, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna stop the stream right now. Okay. Thank you for it's, watching it's all the stream. Claws and seep starring what David that Lynch, mean? but with very little David Lynch in it. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to compensate for that by ending the. A David Lynch voice. I plan on writing writing an epic poem about this gorgeous stream. I plan on playing Hitman. Bouting out words. Good day.